What's up guys, Ash Tech here and we definitely need to take a moment to talk about the Tesla Roadster 2.0. So last night, as many of you guys know, if you're a tech person or you just followed the news, Tesla had an event. And this event was so that they could unveil the new Tesla semi-truck, which we all knew was coming. That's what we expected. Okay, so we got our first look at it. Elon himself drove it up onto the stage, hopped out, and it seems like there's two different versions of it. There's a space gray when they pulled it up on stage that seemed to be the smaller version. And there was a much larger version, which is definitely the two sizes that they're gonna have going. 500 mile range, zero to 65 seconds with no load. Keep in mind that is with no load. So if you do have a load, it's zero to 60 in 20 seconds with an 80,000 pound load. That's a lot of weight and that's a really quick response. It will recharge to 400 miles in about 30 minutes, has a single seat middle console with two Tesla sized screens on either side, autopilot and a ton of other awesome features. And unfortunately, none of them really apply to me, to most people, because I'm not a truck driver. So I'm probably never gonna get to sit in one. Anyway, so that was the main purpose of this event. But then, when everyone thought it was over, when the lights dimmed, they came back on stage, the music started playing, and it was kind of a classic one more thing kind of reveal. Out of the back of one of the trailers attached to one of the semis, rolled out the new Tesla Roadster 2.0 in bright red. See, when the original Tesla Roadster came out, Tesla wasn't what it is today. It wasn't very well known. It didn't have the reputation it does today. So the car that they came out with was not that great. To be honest, the Tesla Roadster 1.0 was kind of a Lotus body with all the Tesla tech. So it was a pretty weird mix. It didn't sell very well. It only sold a couple hundred or a couple thousand and that's it. And that was the end of the story with that car. But then, oh boy, then the rumors started. Maybe they will bring it back. Maybe, just maybe, they will fix the Roadster. And then finally last night they gave us what we wanted and it was absolutely incredible. It looks like a Tesla. It's got all the recognizable curves, the shape, the body, the technology, the color, the shine. But on top of that, it's taken cues from Porsche, McLaren, and even Aston Martin and implemented it into the car to create one of the best looking sports cars. So it's a really, really aggressive, fast sports car. And that's, that's the outside view. But then Elon dropped the specs. Now there's not a lot of spec sheets that can make a person speechless, but as MKBHD said himself, his jaw was on the floor when Elon started talking about the specs, the numbers. Let's, let's go over them. Spec sheet of the Roadster, zero to 60 in 1.9 seconds. 1.9 seconds. Zero to 100 in 4.2 seconds. And it runs the quarter mile in 8.8 .8 seconds. It's a sub nine second quarter mile car, sub nine. Now, it has a top speed of quote, this is from Tesla themselves, 250 miles per hour, over 250 miles per hour to be exact. And this is all from a 200 kilowatt hour battery pack mounted to the floor. For perspective, that is twice the size of the P100D. So twice the power essentially. It's got three motors, two for the back wheels and one for the front wheels, and it will do 621 miles per full charge. 621 miles. That's about over 1,000 kilometers. That is the first electric car to be able to go over 1,000 kilometers on a single charge. So with all these specs and just generally looking at the car itself, we are in hypercar territory. This car, this Roadster, doesn't even sound remotely street legal. In fact, a lot of the cars on the list of the top production 0 to 60 time cars have a 0 to 60 of 2.5 seconds, 2.4 at the best and the Roadster is coming in at 1.9. That is just absolutely ridiculous. There's some videos of people reacting while they're in the car during takeoff, and these videos are just so enjoyable to watch as people are just either taken by surprise or shock at how fast this car picks up, whether they're in the car or out. So I'm gonna roll a couple of them for you. Three, two, one. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh boy. 81. 
honestly, I didn't think I didn't think I noticed the difference in my P100D. Oh, come on. No, I honestly didn't think I would notice the difference. There's a reason this one's called plaid. Oh my goodness. <laughs>